How nice would it be to do this every morning? And uh, be able to do that from laying in bed when it's cold as crap. And you come out, and this thing automatically turns on your seat warmer and steering wheel warmer and defrosts everything before you come out to the truck, and then it turns off. Pretty freaking nuts. But on the topic of this truck, we are going to be cleaning this thing up today because it is absolutely filthy. Even though it's like a lost hope because as soon as I wash it, it's gonna get completely dirty again. That's what we're gonna do. What is up, Lab and Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today we are gonna try to wash this behemoth of a truck. This thing is just too big and sometimes it gets a little bit frustrating because you can't take it through the car wash like a Mike's or something like that. Um, and it's not because the truck would have been too high. The issue is now that there's 20 by 10s on it instead of the factory, I think they're like 20 by eights or something like that. I really don't know, I'm just guessing. It doesn't fit through the thing because it's a little bit too wide. Okay, so I'm gonna show you around this truck before and then I'll show you around after and I'll tell you what I did. And by the way, these wheels, up front, I don't know why just in the front, just because it probably wear down a little bit more of the brake pads. Um, but these things get so filthy so fast. Now you can see why we usually run with black wheels. Uh, not that it keeps your brake pads from wearing down and leaving dust, but you just don't see it and it doesn't make the trip look so dirty. But these, I pressure wash these things off every week and they just get so filthy. As soon as you drive it, it's done. Like within a couple hours, they're dusty again. And it was mud all over the side, mud all over the fenders, and this is just from our driveway. At our other property, our other property's driveway, because it's pretty long, and it's really just full of potholes, full of water and mud and stuff. Get a high idle kicking in. So anyways, you get the idea. The truck's dirty, needs clean, and that's what we're gonna go do right now. And we're gonna go to a car wash where you have to pay a bunch of quarters to get your truck washed. Um, usually it takes five to eight dollars worth of change to get this thing washed. There's just so much surface area. And I like to make sure I do it really, really well when I go and do that. So we're gonna go there right now and hopefully we can get this thing all shined up. By the way, if you guys want a chance to win either this truck or, let me back up a little bit so you can see that beautiful, beautiful beast, or this 1991 fully intercooled, first gen five speed four wheel drive. You guys can go to team-lmp.myshopify.com. We are down to four days left. Four days and this giveaway is over, so do not miss out. Current numbers, I can't give you exact numbers, but we have less people in on this giveaway in terms of totals than any of the giveaways that we've done previous. And this truck is worth way seven times more than the trucks that we've given away in the past okay so uh, we used to do 12 valves with like 200 some thousand miles on it. i mean just like good condition but old high mileage trucks not even not really that high miles but you get the idea old used trucks they're still amazing trucks but now we're giving away a brand new truck. This is a 2018 with less than 10,000 miles on it. Beautiful, beautiful truck. And it can be yours, you know what I mean? And it's, I mean, guys, 15 bucks. Every $15 you spend on the website gets you another entry to win. You can buy t-shirts and hoodies and hats and keychains, decals, all that kind of stuff. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your total that you've spent throughout the course of this giveaway. You're gonna take your total that you've spent, add it all up, and then divide it up by 15, and that's how many entries you're gonna get. Well, here we go. Pulling into the wash here. There is a little bit of a satisfaction to washing your truck and getting out and being like, dang man, that looks good. I use to wash the wheels on my trucks is from Anthem. Anthem actually has packs and bags and gear um, specifically for wheel care kits. So basically if you want to wash your wheels, there's all kinds of kits they have for, you know, wheel and tire shine and you know, the pads, wipe everything down and microfiber stuff. And they actually, they sell kits that are ready to go. They're actually really, really good price. Like you couldn't buy everything in here separately and get a better deal.
let's get a look here around the truck now that it's completely clean and already a little bit dirty again. Look how beautiful this thing looks shined up. I mean, it is sparkling, boy. I mean, not really. It's look, look at all the nasty water and mud. Look, we need mud flicked up on there. Like I said, man, you just can't keep this thing clean. But in the summer, it's good, good, good. Here it is. Not a bunch of rust and rot. It's still, the factory paint is still chipping off on the frame back here. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not all rotted out. There's no, there's no rot up here in the fenders. Only took the moldings off to paint it. And then they put them back on, you know what I mean? It's, they didn't take them off for any rot or rust repair. But beautiful truck. And yes, it does have the old reliable five-speed and manual four-wheel drive lever. Of course, that's the only four-wheel drive option you got back in the day. But beautiful truck. If you want to have an option to win this truck or this one, not really option, I mean opportunity to then have the option to pick between these two trucks, take your pick. I mean, this is a classic truck extremely hard to find and it's not going to lose value in fact it's just going to go up in value more and more and more each year and this truck i honestly think if i put this truck for sale right now it depends who's buying it how serious they are how far they're willing to drive i bet you this truck right now the way it sits would sell for 16 to 18 thousand dollars okay now that's just me maybe some other people are going to disagree but i'm just telling you people that have money or people that just want something, not necessarily have to have money, it's just if they want something bad enough and it's hard to find, they will pay for it, okay? And that's honestly what this truck, he tried to sell for 15, but then again, I had to, I pulled the engine out, there's a new engine in it, all redone, you know, new suspension components, new wheels, new tires, all kinds of, I've done a, I've done a lot of stuff to this truck um, to where it'd definitely be worth, you know, one or 2,000 more than he originally tried to get for it. Um, and, that, and that's everything everything down but anyways and that's just going to keep going up in value you know what i mean that's just going to keep getting more and more this truck beautiful truck it's going to run you a really 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 long time not give you any issues i mean this truck this truck ain't going to give you any issues either but but this truck's just going to go down in value you know what i mean so it's, it's just a matter of what do you want to sit on you know what i'm saying sad to say it but this truck's going to depreciate probably pretty quick versus this one it's not you know what I'm saying? In the next 10 years, this truck's going to be worth just as much as this one. And this one's probably going to be worth about two times what this one's worth in the next 10 years. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just things to think about. Now, let's get in the truck and talk about a topic that we need to address. What I wanted to talk about with you guys was the topic of the new daily driver truck for me. Now, the new daily driver truck, that that really depends how this giveaway turns out. If somebody picks my baby, the Longhorn, then hands down, I'm, I'm buying a different daily driver because right now, I do a lot of driving. Like I've been going to see my girlfriend and see family and travel and stuff. And I've, I put a lot of miles on the road now really, really quick. And so I need something that's going to be a little bit better. L listen to this. This is how much money I spent on diesel in the last 45 days. $1,215 is what I've spent on diesel in the last little bit more than a month. Almost two months, not quite, just in driving. That's how much driving I've been doing. Now the average person's not gonna spend that much in diesel because they're not gonna drive, you know, as many miles as I've been driving. I've driven about 6,000 miles in the last 40 days. It gets expensive when you drive that much. So my thing is, if whatever truck I drive next, it has to be deleted, it has to be tuned, or it's gotta be something that's more conservative on fuel so I can save a little bit of money on fuel and put that money more into the trucks and into the brand and stuff like that and not just in diesel fuel. On the topic of the L5P, that truck is an amazing truck. I went and I looked around the truck, started it up, stuff like that. The truck is super cool. Um, as people are talking about how expensive they are to tune and delete and stuff like that. And at first I was like, oh, you know, no big deal. You know what I mean? It's, you know, what, probably a few thousand bucks here and there. You know what I mean? It's just, it, you got to pay to play, so to speak. If you want to have a cool truck, it's just, it's just what it costs. But I didn't realize how much more expensive they were. Now, could I pay for it? Yes, but I'm trying to think about where else I could put those finances instead of just dumping it into a truck just because it's cool. What else could I do with that money? So I'm, I'm going back and forth. I'm really torn on what to do. Do I go LML Duramax, which would be the 15 or 16? 
just because the deletes are all there, the tunes are all there, everything's way more readily available, everything's cheaper, um, because you can delete and tune L5 piece, it's just very, very expensive. Like tunes alone are four to six thousand dollars, you know what I mean, give or take in that range. So it's really, really expensive, and that's not including your deletes and parts and labor. It adds up really quick, but they're also super cool, and there's not a lot of content on them, so if somebody could actually make some content on them, I think it'd be, it'd be something pretty cool to see. And that's a truck that I would buy and I would daily drive for a while. And on another note, let's say, I buy a 16. I could buy a 2016 and there's a lot more parts available, I could do a lot more stuff and then I could put the money into something else as well. And then on another point, for all I know, at the end of this giveaway, maybe somebody decides, you know what, I don't want something that's just going to depreciate real quick, I want something that's going to hold its value, it's cool, it's classic, it's going to be a truck that no matter how old it gets, there's going to be somebody out there willing to pay a lot for them because you can't find them on every street corner like you can one of these fourth gens. If somebody picks that red first gen, in the same sense, I might just keep the Longhorn to daily drive. So in other words, I might just keep the Longhorn, delete it, tune it, all that stuff, um, just to make it a little bit more efficient, you know what I mean? Try to get another four to five miles gallon out of the thing, um, and then drive this. Now, is it still gonna be expensive? Yeah, but it'd still be cheaper than going out and buying a, you know, another truck to daily drive. But in the same sense, I would still wanna buy a Duramax regardless for content, for for a content change up. Never driven one. I've never, I've never even. Well, actually, I, I just sat in one, but I've never driven one going down the road or sat in one going down the road. And I think it'd be really cool to be have something that uh, is a completely new experience, new experience for me, and it'd be a new experience for a lot of you guys. I just think it'd be a really cool twist. My question is, do I go 2016 LML or do I go? brand new, if I get an L5P, it's gonna be a brand new one. If I get an LML, it's gonna be the, the last one that you could have got, so it would have been, a, it would be a 16. So, let me know down in the comments below, does it make sense to go brand new, because I'm gonna spend a little bit more on the truck, but not, honestly, not a ton more. The L5P, the deal that I would be getting on it, would be crazy. Actually, what I've been doing is looking around at some of the LMLs compared to the 60,000 that I could get the L5P for, and there's a lot of them. If I get something with really, really low mileage, I'm talking like 10,000 or less, which they are out there. There's not a lot, but they are out there for the 2016s. If you can find something of that, they're already about 60,000 anyways. They're between 55 and 60, so it's like, do you buy something that's three years newer, it's the latest and greatest, it's literally brand new for you know another three grand, four grand, or do you just save a little bit of extra money and go a little bit older and then you save a little bit more money on tunes and delete and stuff like that too. Definitely leave your suggestions and recommendations to help out. Anyways guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching the video. Really appreciate it. Leave your likes on this video. Read the description down below on how you can enter to win this beautiful 2018 or my 1991. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.